systems of the future are going to be quite different from what exists today. This is why we have created the MSc PhD program where we look at fundamental science and then application of that fundamental science to the energy problem. We started this program 10 years back when we started the department and we believe this will be one of our flagship programs. We feel that our MSc PhD students are going to bring about new energy systems into the world and these will be sustainable and cost effective and will solve some of humanity's problems. I'm Garima Agrawal, I'm MSc PhD 2013 batch. Uh, hi, I'm Shubhina Roy, MSc PhD 5th year student. My name is Humair. Uh, I'm Archana Sinha, I'm from uh, MSc PhD 2009 batch. Uh, my name is Ashika. This is Devi. Hello, I'm Sagarika and uh, I'm an MSc PhD student here of 2012 batch. My work is basically related to the photolithography. I want to generate hydrogen using cheap materials. The modeling and simulation of a solar cell. Uh, I am basically working on the degradation of photovoltaic modules. I am working on electrochemistry of graphene based materials for fuel cell applications. I am working on uh, degradation of photovoltaic modules. I am working on pinch analysis. It's like a process integration, optimization based technique. I work on electrocatalysis. It's a surface electrochemistry. It's working on carrier selective contacts for silicon photovoltaic. My topic of this research is uh, the stability analysis of nuclear reactors and then mathematical analysis of their stability. Being in IIT Bombay, you can learn uh, whatever you want. Whatever I study in the textbook. Suppose I learned about wind energy systems, energy management, energy policies, solar thermal, solar PV. So I am able to see those materials or see those uh, machines or experimentation work right in front of my eyes here. You can take more advanced courses to go deep into it. You get to learn new things and uh, you are not just concentrated on your old uh, uh, bachelor's subject. A lot of exposure you would get. You are not constrained to work on a particular problem. So you could work on simulations, you could work on optimization, you could work on experimentation. Students do really come from different backgrounds. It's good if you have people from different backgrounds. What we study here is completely new. You need knowledge of physics also. Uh, chemistry also, simulation, I mean math also, computational also. Your MSc is where, where you study different courses which are from different backgrounds and and uh, it, it helps you to take input from different streams. Everything is application oriented these days. So you have to know some part of everything that will help you in pushing what is your core area. People could do a mutually exhaustive research. It would provide you a, a lot of uh, options. Whatever I have done in my graduation, maybe I do not want to pursue the same thing when I am coming here. So I have an option of going for a simulation problem or a more mathematical problem here. Integrated nature of the course is very helpful. We are coming from BSc background, so we don't have much exposure to the labs or techniques. We start early. Uh, we start right from the first year. During MSc, you get uh, you get through a process: writing report, giving presentation, working in the lab, uh, seminars, and uh, project work. So basically, we are starting our PhD at a much earlier level than as compared to the other PhDs who are coming later and then starting with their coursework. You want to learn something for your project, so you can take courses also. You have uh, two years. You can take uh, the electives from other departments. You can basically gain the basic understanding of your the research. Those two years, you just have to focus on that courses. Being an MSc PhD, what helps us is the project that we took up in the MSc time itself, you can extend that in your PhD as well. I have continued the same project into the PhD. I have continued what I was working on MSc project. And also you will be much more familiar with the faculty as well as the facilities as well as the equipment that you are working. You will have wide range of knowledge during your MSc and and what, what people do in uh, PhD. During, even during your MSc you will be able to interact with many people who are doing PhD. If you are, if you start working early in MSc PhD program, you can finish your PhD very soon. It uh, shortens your duration of PhD. The PhD finishes off early. It actually helps in it saves time at the MSc stage because you are doing the same field. You can finish your PhD in a short duration. 
it's a niche for the students who would uh, want to go for a PhD. If you are interested in doing PhD, if you plan at doing a PhD after your masters, then this is the best choice. For PhD, you have to pass a exam and then give a heavy interview to appear for another examination and you do not have to appear for another rigorous process of what a PhD enrollment in our country demand. In this process what you do is in two years you will get to know your guide and within two years you get the uh, you get an option like you can change the guide also. Once you do the the course uh, during the whole time when you do the MSc you get to know the faculty members you get to know their research. Apart from academics, you get time uh, to involve in extracurricular activities also. So it basically uh, shapens your overall personality, not just the academic part. 